Hello everyone and a very warm welcome. In this tutorial, we are going to go ahead and automate sending of email reminders from an Excel file using Power Automate. So on my screen, you see an Excel file. The Excel file has got a due date, few email addresses and a follow-up message. Let's consider that the, e that the Excel file is very big and there's an automated software which goes ahead and updates this Excel file daily. Once this Excel file has been updated, it should automatically loop through all the cells or all the columns in the Excel files, check for the due date that is today and send an email. And I want to automate that process. So without wasting any further time, let's get into a Power Automate. Here I will create a flow. I'll create an automated flow or a scheduled flow. I'll name this flow as Excel Renewal Automation, okay? I want to run it once a day, right? And I want to run it just before my shift goes ahead and starts, right? So I'll run it at 9.30 a.m. So the first step that I need to do is I need to add an action and I need to add an action for the Excel file. And I need to list all rows from the table. So let me search for that action. Perfect. So Excel list rows from a table. Here I'm going to specify my site name, which is demo converter. I'm going to go ahead and specify the document library where my Excel file is. Select my Excel file, select my table. Perfect, right? So next, I want to go ahead and specify advanced properties. The advanced properties that I want to specify is that it should go into the Excel file, check for the due date, right? So the column name is due date. So I'll type in due date equals to today's date. So for today's date, I'm going to specify a formula or a function. So I'm going to say format date time. And I'm going to say UTC now that is today's date and compare it with a format such that it matches my Excel format. Right? So my Excel format is So I want to specify a format in, so I need to specify an ISO format, right? So, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and create a formula format date time. I'm going to compare it with the UTC time. And then I'm going to specify an ISO format such as YYY MMDD, right? This looks good. And this is what I need. Finally, at this point, what I can do is I can add another action and I can go ahead and send an email. I'm going to send an email to the person from my Excel file, so dynamic values, email, right? Add, then I'm going to specify a subject. Please action on renewal. And I'm going to specify a message in the body. to just say, let me use some dynamic content such that it will follow up with it. And I will say, just add hello. Regards, right? That's good. So this is how our flow should be. So let me quickly save my flow. 
and let me test my flow. I'll quickly click on test. And my flow is running. Perfect. So what it did is that it went into my Excel file and it went ahead and checked that there's only one date. So it should send an email to admin with a renewal message. So let's quickly check. It went ahead and sent an email. Right. So it sent an email to just the admin. Right because it's today if i go to my email i should find that email in my outlook but only for the admin account because i'm going ahead and logged in as an admin so now let's take this a little bit ahead when i say that let's go back to our excel and look at our due dates let's say that the due date um, we need to filter whatever is greater than today right in this case, what I see is that I have 2024, which is greater than today. This is greater than today. And this is, so we should have three values. So how can we do that? So can we just say, <clears throat> can we just change the filter to greater than out here? And will it work? Let's go ahead and try. I have saved my flow. Run, done. So at this point, it tells me that it's a bad request. And what the error is? The error tells me that it's an invalid filter. So I can only use equal, not equal, contains, etc. I cannot use greater than, less than, etc. Right? To get across this problem, I first need to change my filter query and then change the date and time format to ISO 8601. Next, I need to find an alternative operation which can help me filter. So I'll type in filter and the first action that comes up is filter array. To this filter array, what I need to pass in is the data that I need to filter. So it's the output of the list rows from a table action. And here I can say format date time. I can just click on dynamic content. I need to filter due date and I need to give it a format, right? So I'll give it the format as I did previously. That is YY MM DD, right? This looks good to me. I'll say add and I'll say greater than because I want to get greater than values. So I'll again go ahead and create a formula saying format date time UTC now and I'll say DD dash MM dash YYY, right? This looks good and I'll click on add. At this point, I don't want to send any email, so I'll terminate my flow here and try to run it. Right, so terminate. I usually use terminate when I want to debug something in between, right? Like this is in between, but maybe I'll use the email actions later. So I'll save my flow and I'll again test my flow manually. Perfect, so my flow has succeeded, so I'll quickly grab the outputs from here. So these are the outputs. So I will grab it from here. Perfect. So how many values have been returned to me? In fact, it returned me all five values. So that's something wrong in my flow, right? So this is the output and it returned me all values. That's perfect. So I'll just go back. Okay. I see the problem. I use different formats. So let's edit it. Let's go back here and I'll select the format which is similar. So I'll just change this with this, right? Make sure that I have the single quote and I'll update. So real world troubleshooting and this is actually good. So you see how important the format can be. Although we have not tested it, so let's test it and look at the results. We should not get five. Okay, come on, Flo, don't let me down. So this time it worked. I'm going to copy the output and I'm going to go back in my... And this time it returns me correct values. 
finally it returns me three values which are greater than today's date. So this is good, this is actually excellent, but we need to get meaningful data out of it. So to get meaningful data, it's returning me a JSON array. So we need to find an action which can help me pass the JSON. So I'll say JSON and pass the JSON. So to pass the JSON, I'm going to use the JSON schema that I just copied. This looks good. And here, my friends, I'm going to pass in the content that I need to pass, which is the output of the filter array action. So let me click here, which is the output of the filter array. That's perfect. I don't need the terminate now because I actually need to send email. So I'll delete this action. And going back into the for each loop, this time I need to loop through the values that are returned by the JSON array. So parse JSON body, that's perfect. And here I'll change the emails with the output of the parse JSON action. So let me quickly type in. So let me put in dynamic values out here. So first value is that I need to send an email and then I'll just put in the follow up question in between. Perfect. And I'll just click on save. So this time technically, we should have a solution. So again, trying to test it. Okay, this time it failed with a different error. We are getting a lot of errors that we should not. What is the error? Invalid type, expected an array, got an object, my bad. So let's go back out here. I need to pass it the body, which is the list of items. I'll save it. I'll click on manual again. And let's see, it still goes ahead and gives me problems. So filter array, filter array returns me the body. In the body, I have got three actions. So copy this, get into the parse JSON action, which is the body. I'll go ahead and use the sample schema. Paste it out here, say OK. Okay, let me look at this once again. Click on edit. Let me go to the old designer to just make sure that the body has been passed in. Technically, the body should be there. So I'll just click here. I'll just pass in the body. Okay, now let's look at this in the old designer. And this is something that sometime if this works, it will annoy me a lot. But let's see. Perfect. So it works. So maybe the new designer did not pick up and it sent me three emails. So let's use the new designer for the time being. So if I want to say something that is less than today's date, let's go back and look at it. Um, so less than today's date is just one value out here, which is going to be Joni's value. So I'll just save it. And let's hope that it sends only one email, right? So run, done. Perfect. So for each, it sent one email and it sent to Joni. I hope this tutorial was informative. You also saw that how the new designer can act a bit weird, but that's fine. If you get some errors and you think that you are right, switch to the old designer and it most probably works. Thank you. Have a great day.